а вот чисто алюминиевый товарищ из колес из Лондона, ребята, пригнали. Сюда чисто алюминиевый uh, deepwateryards.com. Это корвет 50 XLR. Вот. С, посмотрите, с синтетическим тиком. Это вот тик декинг как раз компания. Он весь, весь железный. Даже бульба есть. Вот такая вот штукенция интересная. Могли бы хоть полирнуть, что ли. Надо зайти, поспрашать, если можно. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I board and take a video? Is it possible? Thank you. Итак, меня мне разрешили поснимать. Я вот на деке. Это как пит. Это алюминиевая полностью лодка, хоть она и приписана к Англии. Ребята пришли из Нидерландов. Вот, зайдем внутрь. Салончик. Достаточно интересный. А вот. Кокпит. Здесь стоят вольвы. Семирадовское управление. Ну так достаточно все простенько, но достаточно аккуратно. Все сделано. Шкафчики такие. А высота а, достаточно. То есть даже я не касаюсь ничего абсолютно головой. Высота 2 метра плюс. А вот. Покрытие виниловый, виниловый пол, такой полумягкий. Это не ковер, а виниловый такой полупол. А вот вниз спускаемся. Здесь у них сименсовая микроволновка. Там идет показ. Я потом туда спущусь, пойду пока в заднюю каюту посмотрю. А вот задняя каюта у них очень интересная. Тут, видимо, они здесь отдыхают. Но очень здорово сделано. То есть... May, may I go down? Yeah, sure. То есть... Мне разрешили спуститься. А, значит, здесь... Здесь я стою нормально. Здесь вот порт лайт такой. И вот такая вот коечка. Ну, здесь, конечно, низкая. Высота здесь может быть полтора метра. То есть надо залазить. Рудучки, шкафчики. Вот, очень интересно вот сюда вот пролезть. Здесь душевая кабинка. Здесь полный рост, но до нее налезть надо полураком. Вот. Очень красиво. Отделка, кстати, надо взять себе на винилом. Так обтянули, красиво. Реально красиво отделано. Вот. Похоже на Федоровскую яхту. Сейчас по постараюсь открыть э, моторный отсек, посмотреть. Uh, pardon me, sir. May I, may I sneak in the engine compartment? Сейчас мне откроют двигательный отсек. Кстати, плаги все европейские. So are you Dutch or are you British? I am British, but I live in Holland, so I was born in Holland. Gotcha. Okay, so we got. У нас две пенты D4 230. Uh, how many horsepower per engine? 230. Two, 200, 230 лошадей каждая. Огромный бак. А системы, как говорится, дизеля, распределение топлива, батареи, а, генератор. You guys made it here on your own bottom, or? Yes. Yes. Эта лодка перешла на своем брюхе через океан специально для этого шоу. Вот так вот, господа. So we got 4500, So what the biggest stretch we did was uh, was from the Azores to Bermuda. 
and 1800 uh, nautical miles yes and uh we had we had lots of fuel left so oh wow so at 10 knots, so we you went the southern route you didn't go northern route no no we did the southern route so we went we went to from rotterdam holland we went to brighton uk uh then we went to uh we wanted to go straight from brighton to the azores but we got into some bad weather in the Gulf of Biscay, and then we took shelter in France for a couple of days, and then from France we went to the Azores, and then from the Azores to another island of the Azores to get fuel, and then all the way to the to Bermuda and then to the Bahamas. One of my friends actually have the Elling E6, and he's facing this challenge actually going through Biscay, and uh, I Biscay told can be very nasty. Yeah, I it know. Can be very nasty. I, I've been in Biscay. Yeah. Yes, because it, like the ocean, you got like pretty long ways. It can be nasty too, obviously, but under normal circumstances. But 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 Biscay was uh, was nasty, and then we had this weather prediction saying it was going to get worse. You know, so we said we got to go back ten hours. Right. But we said, well, let's go back because we don't want to. We also had two girls, you know, my daughter right. and the owner's daughter. So we didn't want to take any chances, and uh, and that was good. We did it because then we had another another weather service, and that weather service told us you once you leave France, go west first a lot. Right. So it took us about a day more. Yeah, gain the depth. But but that was better. It was a lot better on the crew in the boat. Gotcha. So yeah. And. Uh, this compartment is uh, just a... That's another, that's a shower. Oh, it's a shower, man? Yes, yeah, sure. It's not a shower, it's a, it's oh, a, it's a, a toilet. Yeah, toilet. And there's a shower in the back there. Yeah, 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 I saw yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's also, it's it's completely fiberglass, so it's also like uh, for, for hanging wet clothes and stuff. Yeah, 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 it's nice. The mythic. So let me... May I sneak in front? Sure, sure. Вот такая вот красавица. Спускаемся вниз, аккуратненько. So we got the fridge, we got the fridge here. Okay, refrigerator. And uh -huh. then we have the oven microwave. Ага. Uh -huh. The sink здесь. And then we have, this is like uh, like induction. Oh yes, like yes. Induction yes. plate, and we have the, the suction fan. Suction fan, yep. Yep. Nice. Corian. Yes. Very cool. You have the Busto AC. And we have every, the whole boat has these uh, latches, which are really, they will never ever open up. So they're basically the same ones as they have on the, the generator. The push ones, yeah. Generator yeah, oh, okay, okay. Generator Shield enclosures. box, yeah. Yep. They're very, very uh, rigid. Secure. Очень красиво сделан салончик. Размер достаточно впечатляющий. Диван здесь спокойно 6 человек сядет или пару человек ляжет. So it does not expand out to make the bed out of this. No. 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 И здесь вот у них телевизор встроен. Очень красивое решение сделано. Да, лодка на своем брюхе перешла по южным широтам Атлантику. И это, this is a master, yes. master каюта. You don't mind traveling feet first? <laughs> Actually, I didn't sleep here. I have, to, I have to be honest. When you are traveling in in heavy seas, uh -huh. this is the worst place to be. I know. So I, I was I was always uh, sleeping in the back, and actually, uh, the owner was sleeping on the on the lounge. That's over two meters height. Yes. Yeah. И вот здесь такой душевая кабина, закрывается в носу, и гальянчик. Очень интересное решение. If you don't mind me ask, I mean, for my friends actually, um, how much is something like this cost? Uh, right now, XPAT in, in in Holland, it's not. This is like uh, 920, but it's like very basic. So there's no air conditioning, no no. Uh, decking. Okay. Uh, so as is here, this one is like 1.1. 1.1. With with all the extras on it. So let me ask you this: How do you like your decking system? You know, that's that vinyl uh, teak deck. Is it's that too really, hot or? It's 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 a bit hot. It's a bit hot. Yeah, I have to be honest. It's a bit hot. I I, I would prefer 
but I w that's obviously a little bit more costly. But I would prefer a real tech. The real tech. Teak, teak wood. Yeah, that's because that's an isolator. Right, right, right. And as far as uh, sticking, uh, that does it stick well and stays? Yes, yes. This, I mean, this is this is done basically the same way they do the they do the teak decking. You know, with the it's like a very strong two component two component uh, glue. Uh, glue. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we we've, we've used this for like we have boats like built eight years ago, and it's still perfect. It's it's not coming off. It's 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 the best ever. I mean, compared to teak, this is this is your best solution. Gotcha. The only thing is, because it's you know in uh, in in in, uh, in a hot, very very hot climate, it tends to get pretty hot. I mean, pretty I hot. would for a really hot climate, I would prefer real teak. Gotcha. Yeah, but then again, the the prices of teak wood are really you know going off the wall right now. Yeah. Like last yeah. years, you know. So I mean, it's 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 getting more and more expensive to. To get a really good quality i really like how you finish uh the ceiling and the walls i mean it's so neat um yeah, is, there, is this also, paneling yes it's all it's panel yeah yeah it's it really needed, cool. and it also needs a, it needs Which a bit of uh, the needs a bit of light color because this yeah. is the yeah 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 on other boats we sometimes use uh, a much lighter teak wood mm -hmm. uh, but the owner wanted to have this a, a bit more dark so we use a two component oil on yeah this. yeah to rub it in yeah and this is this is how it stays and i like how you guys uh, preserve the pattern of the wood yes also also with throughout the, uh, yeah also with the with the walls да очень красиво сделано все из одного куска супер so is this Dutch made boat? Yes. Okay. Completely. And what's the brand of Deep this? Deep water yachts. Deep water yachts. Deep water yachts. Okay. I can give I'll give you a brochure. Okay. With all the specs Absolutely. And Absolutely. So we're doing this for my friends uh who has the uh huge chat room for people that big fans of trawlers and uh, oh, really? slow going boats, right? And uh, a lot of people, because I'm American, but I also natively speaking uh, Russian very uh, well. <laughs> so they asked me to go and, uh, you know, uh, cover the show, you know, and most of people, uh, they said, no, we cannot let you, uh, you know, film anything inside, you know, because owners don't like this, blah, blah, blah. That's There's all a... bullshit. That's yeah. All bullshit. Yeah. I had some, I had some people here yesterday and they're not buyers. They're just people who are interested. But they bought a ticket and they cannot get on any boat right you know and i said they said can, can we look at the boat i said sure you can look at the boat i mean it's not someone who's buying a boat but i mean why not you know? yeah yeah great thank you thank you so very much you're very welcome thank you i'll get you the brochure it's uh if you don't mind i'm gonna just uh uh walk through the uh cockpit and the uh, and the uh, nose uh, yeah, sure. just to yeah, show I mean, the chick decking you can, you can and stuff film, you can film anything okay so this one this one has the uh all the sim red equipment yes we have the uh humphrey stabilizing system so we oh, have, okay we have the electric fins okay they're actually like carbon fins on the side i hate to ask uh, how much battery i mean or you're running the generator all the time no 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 we we just have the we have the batteries so we've got uh we've got six batteries of 200 ad's amps. Oh yeah, ADs, yes. the big ones. No, no, no. They're like, well, they're a fair size. They're like 200 amps or 220. Yeah, 220. Yeah, that's an AD battery. Yes. And then uh, but for for the stabilizer, they're 24 volts, so we don't have to don't have to run any generator. Gotcha. And they're they're a big advantage over the over the hydraulic stabilizers since with the hydraulics, we always had like, you know, whatever I did because I, 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 I'm the engineer of the boat, I build it. And uh, whatever, we, you always had this high pitch sound of the hydraulics. You gotcha. Know, you, you could never, I tried so many things, you know, with accumulators and, and everything and, and, and rubber bush, rubber uh, mounts. You always heard this sound, you know, this hydraulic sound. And with this, with the electric ones, it's like best ever. Plus we got a zero, zero speed stabilizing as well. Okay. So you can uh, you can just put the boat uh, at anchor, and then it will because it can flip around. Oh, okay. 
And just like an ailing did, you know. Yes, and it, and it can actually use the uh, use the, the the force of the fin because okay. it really goes fast, and it can keep the boat fairly stable when it's when it's on anchor. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, this is a great looking boat. Something the old world is known for is yes, the good exactly. boats. Yes, exactly. That's true. Yeah. So. It's well, it's a it's it, it's it's a boat, you know. It's like a no nonsense boat, you know. You can. Uh, and she's a full kill, right? Yes. Full kill boat. Yeah. Displacement only. Uh, uh, actually, uh, no, sorry. It's. Uh, or she can go on a plane. Yes, it's it's semi plane. Semi plane. We can, but we can we can do about eighteen to twenty knots, depending on the weight. So we cruise at nine to ten. That's like a sweet spot. Okay. The boat, you know, engines running at eighteen hundred RPM. Really, it's like really the boat feels good. Okay. Uh, but if you want to, you know, rev her up, we can we can almost do t almost hit twenty knots. Okay. You know, so if yeah, but then the fuel. If you're, if you're in a hurry, but then yeah. obviously the fuel goes like skyrocketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hi, sir. How you doing? All right. Am I allowed on the boat? Sure. Yeah. About to take my shoes off. I'm gonna walk around. Yes. Да, и вот, короче, я вышел. У них uh, есть маленький флайбридж, но они там, по-моему, ничего не контролируют. А вот, это опять же вот корвет uh, 50 XLR. А вот. Ну, из разговора, вот он говорит, что в южных широтах uh, было жарковато с этим синтетическим uh, тиком. Он говорит, в следующий раз, он говорит, ну, поскольку цена тика сейчас настолько высока, очень, кстати, круто сделано с таким как бы овалом, если вам видно. А, то есть вода здесь собираться абсолютно не будет. Очень круто сделано. А, такой маленький волнорезик. Это вот типа португальского мостика. А, вот такой вот вид у этой лодки. Хорошие клиты стоят. Ну, скажу вам, очень-очень впечатляет. Очень впечатляет. Да. Очень хорошо сделано. Перешли Атлантику. Они самая длинная дистанция у них была от Азорских островов до Багам. Они дошли. И у них еще топливо осталось. Вот такие вот дела. А вот. Ну. Пойдем смотреть другие лодки.